It still smells so good. Hey guys, today I'm gonna do a flip through of February and my Sterling Ink Common Planner, but before I do, I just wanted to show you this gorgeous cover one more time. This is my VDS B6 Undyed Janet Leather Planner. That's a mouthful. I love it. I was a little bit terrified to get an undyed planner because they pick up everything. I mean everything. But I kind of wanted that aged feel. A year from now, I don't want it to look anything like this. I don't want it to look pristine. I want it to show how much it has been loved and used. And I really haven't had much of a chance to take it out of the house yet because it's been rainy and cold out. So I really haven't been going anywhere to work. It did go on one little outing to my favorite brewery, but it just sat there for a little while on the table. I think that might be where I got these two little spots from up at the top. But other than that, I'm sure this is a little darker than when I first got it, just from the oils on my hand and from some of the sun hitting it. But I think I'm gonna have to like pull my pictures from the beginning and compare it to how it looks now. It's hard to see right now because it's really rainy out and it's kind of dark in here, but it has a couple of spots on it and you can tell where it kind of sits on my desk. It got a little bit dirty, but it is still so buttery soft and I just, I love this cover. I love this cover so much. I haven't put anything in the pockets yet. I don't know if I'm going to because I don't like that extra bulk, but I don't know, I might put something there. Otherwise, they'll just stay blank because the purpose of this cover is to house my planner and not really anything else. One other thing, my pen does not fit very well in it. I mean, it does, but when the pen is in here, it really pushes into my planner a lot because I didn't change the width or anything of this standard B6 planner from VDS. So I've just been kind of putting the pen in the pen loop like that by its cap and then closing it. So not a big deal, but make sure you recheck the sizes. If you order this, make it a little bit wider. I also just wanted to say really quick that I have been using my Platinum Preppy. I usually just refill the little cartridges that come with the Platinum Preppy, but I purchased a converter and it's so much easier with the converter. It's just so much easier to clean and to fill. I've been using this in fine which is part of my dilemma. I am so torn. So at first I was using the Platinum Preppy and Fine with my brown ink. I believe it's Lola and it's a waterproof sketch ink. So I was writing with that in my planner and then I switched to a black also a sketch ink, but I was using that one in extra fine because I felt like it was a little bit too thick and fine. I wasn't caring for the extra fine, so I went back to fine, but then I also switched my ink to, I don't know if I'm gonna get this right, D. Atramentis Archival Ink because my Lola Black ink was from, I think it's Roar, Roar and Cleaner, I don't know. It was drying out too fast if I left my pen uncapped for too long. So I am currently using the archival ink from D. Atramentis in black and my Platinum Preppy in fine with a converter. I know these are stupid planner dilemma issues that most normal people don't have, but I tend to obsess about what looks better because I'm a very aesthetic person. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and give you guys a flip through of February and my Sterling Ink Planner. Okay, here we go. I am just gonna go ahead and do a quick flip through of February. So in February, I didn't have too much going on and a lot of things got rescheduled because we are photographers and we mainly shoot high volume sports photography. A lot of these shoots are outdoors and it ended up pouring rain on Saturday. So we had to reschedule those and ended up with only one shoot on Sunday. I just went ahead and marked that these are gonna be rescheduled and left them in here. And we also had another event cancel so I just crossed that one out. Not much in here this month. Then we have the weekly layout and not much has changed here except for this sidebar. I added my daughter's TikTok here with, which doesn't even exist anymore because she just deleted the account and is gonna start over. So my weekly layout is the same. I do get up at 4 a.m. and this calendar doesn't start at 4 a.m. 
So I just go ahead and put a little arrow if I woke up before the time allotted, which starts at 4.30 on this planner. I have my dinners down at the bottom and that's about it. I mentioned to you guys that I've switched my pen and my ink a few times. So what do you guys think? This is black ink in fine. This is black ink in extra fine. And this is fine with brown ink. Can you even tell the difference? My husband thinks I'm crazy. He's like, they all look the same to me. Okay, so that's the weekly layout. Let me go ahead and go over to my daily pages. Here are my daily pages. And let me show you a comparison to, just in case you wanna give me your opinion or if you notice things like that. So this is the black ink in fine. This is black ink in extra fine. And this is brown ink in fine. I'm leaning more towards the brown ink in fine, but then sometimes I like black inks too. I know this is so dumb, but I would love to hear your opinion, which one kind of looks neater in pictures or on camera to you. I'll just go ahead and do a quick little flip through of my February pages. This is brown. I think I'm liking the brown. I'm still putting these little quotes at the top. I've been writing them out at the beginning of the week. So when I draw these lines, I go ahead and write out these positive quotes and I like to read them every day. This is one of the times where I was about to switch pens. So I was writing in the brown ink and fine here. And then I wrote in the brown ink and extra fine, but I felt like the brown ink and extra fine was too light for me. So I decided not to do that. My meals are still over here on the left, my to-do list on the left over here. Nothing much has changed. I'm really enjoying this layout right here. This right here is in a fine nib. Yeah, still using some sterling ink stickers every once in a while. This is a Wonderland 222 sticker. All of these plant stickers are from Wonderland 222. My daily planning is pretty basic. I just have my to-do list, my meals, and a little bit of journaling. Still love my Coffee Monster Co. stickers. I use those whenever I can. And these sterling ink stickers are perfect for putting into blank spots. Like I probably should have put one there, but it's okay. White space is okay too. This is when I switched to fine instead of extra fine. I am currently obsessed with this Instagram with Kermit the Frog. I love Kermit the Frog. It's like a childhood thing for me. I didn't put that on photo paper. I just went ahead and printed it up on my regular printer and taped it in because I don't like how much photo paper bulks up my planner. Some more Coffee Monster Co. stickers and sterling ink. And that's it. It was a short month. I am also using these in here. It's blotting paper. And I ordered it from Goulet Pens, I believe. I'll leave a link for it down below, hopefully, if I remember. And this just helps because I switch between my daily pages and my weekly pages a lot. It was a little bit big. I believe it's an A5 size. So I cut it down a little and rounded the corners so that it would fit in here and you wouldn't see it when I was on another page. I like to have that there just because I've been getting a lot more smears lately, ever since I started using black ink. That's one of the things I like about brown ink. I guess it dries faster or just because it's less pigmented, it dries faster, but I tend to have less smearing with brown ink instead of black ink. And that's about it guys fastest flip through ever. Nothing much has changed in my planner. I just wanted you guys to go ahead and see how I was still using it. You can also see these images on Instagram or my website. I'll go ahead and leave a link to both of those down below. And if you have an opinion on, or if you can even tell which ink and nib you prefer, let me know. I'm really curious what your opinions are. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little flip through. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from me, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna be notified whenever I post a new video, make sure you hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.